And so the town now had to choose between Alfred Barber and Andrew Hunter, um, as Johnny Thompson had taken his name off the ballot as a candidate. Um, Alfred Barber, though, was under much pressure and campaigning. He was indeed the superintendent at the armory. Yes, you did get elected to go to the Virginia Secession. John A. Thompson had his name withdrawn from the convention. Yeah, I heard that it's now between Alfred Barber and Andrew Hunter. Julie, come on. Come on, let's go. Oh, I just had the weirdest dream. Come on. Some people in the South wanted to resist the inauguration of Lincoln by taking Washington, Harper's Ferry, um, and other federal property. But the federal government hmm. was... I wonder how people thought about that. So, I heard a lot of people are against the inauguration of Lincoln. Do you think they'll take over Washington? No, I think they have it pretty well under control. So let's move on to the next spot. So in March of 1861, Alfred Barber decided to resign from his position at the armory. And does anybody remember what his job was at the armory? I believe he was a superintendent. He was the superintendent. And um, he was going to Washington to deliver his resignation papers to the Secretary of War. Um, it was unlikely that Secretary Cameron would actually allow uh, Barber to resign. So let's go out to Arsenal Square and find out what happened when Lieutenant Jones was here. Some people thought that Lieutenant Jones um, was doing this out of the best interest of the Union, setting fire to these arsenal buildings and the armory so that the Confederate forces couldn't get the guns that were here and the machinery to make thousands more. <sighs> the people of this town, though, this was their livelihood, and so many of them spent the majority of that night with buckets and water trying to put the fires out. All was quiet along the Shenandoah. And remember, Autumn cooked you.